Bartons! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. For tonight, we dine in hell! How you doing, YouTube? Parasite Generation back with you today to do a video on my small, meager handgun collection. These are all my handguns for concealed carry, plinking, shit at the fan, and... Oh, what do you call it? Being able to pass down to your sons when they get of age. So, I'm going to go from the cheap to my most expensive and my, and the, my favorites. Okay. Um, first off, we got the high point. I did a really crappy paint job on it, but it is a high point CF380. Not that big a deal. I got it for like 140 bucks, brand new. But you know what? For being so... Um, Inexpensive, it is a very accurate gun. I have had some misfeeds as of late because I haven't cleaned it, so I probably should do that. But you know, that's a good gun to have throw in a backpack or in your vehicle, and if it gets stolen, you don't really have to worry about it. Next, one of the my most carried handguns I've ever carried. You can see it's a really dirty girl. Um, Sky CPX one. It's really dirty. It's really dirty. Woo, probably should clean that. I have this this gun right here has probably the most rounds of any of my guns put together. All right, I stopped counting after six thousand rounds or five thousand rounds. Excuse me. It still does not have an ejector, but it still works flawlessly. But it has taken a back seat um, to being just a backup handgun. Um, but for like, you can get them brand new for like two hundred and fifty bucks. So not bad. Now this right here is my MNP 40 cal. I just got back actually. Um, the guy, uh, my friend, I got it from put white out or some stupid shit on the uh, on the sights, kind of messed up. So I'm gonna have to take that off. But um, yeah, I really liked this handgun, and I'm really glad to get it back. It's the 1.0. Uh, first model and it's been flawless for me I think in the beginning when I first had it I had like two failure to ejects and then after that it was uh flawless so that's the only 40 I have um here's one of my favorites Glock 19 Gen 3 has the uh, standard Glock sights only upgrades has been the aluminum slide plate and the uh, grip plug. I really do highly enjoy this gun. I've not had very many, many failures. The only failures I've had were with P mags and some Korean 33 round stick mags. But with the factory mags, flawless. Really do like this gun. It's great for. Uh, it's a great gun for somebody's first gun. Then we're getting to my one of my favorite handguns of all time, Smith & Wesson M&P 9 2.0. This gun right here is absolutely amazing. If you could have one gun, if I could have one semi-automatic over all of these here on the, the couch, I would probably pick this one right here. And as you can see, the, the 1.0 and the 2.0, this one doesn't have as much of beaver tail, but that's not a really problem for me. Then we got the budget brother of the Smith & Wesson M&P. We got the Smith & Wesson SD9VE. Great budget pistol. If you're looking into getting a first time handgun, this is actually a good one. It's all stainless, very accurate. You can get them for under $300. You get a 16 round magazine. Trigger's not all that bad. It's good for a truck, can sell carry, home defense. You get the gist. I really highly enjoy these handguns. I'm thinking about getting one of these in 40 cal. Now getting over to the surplus. This is the only surplus handgun I have at the moment. This is a, yeah, I messed up on the uh, sight paint, but it's hard to, for me to see them. Um, this is a Tokarev uh, TT33, 7.62 by 25. Millimeter, it's a great handgun, man. This this shoots fireballs, and you know what? For a surplus handgun, it's not all that bad. 
I really highly do enjoy this. You, you can get these for like $225, $250 all day long. Um, this one is not too bad shape. I kind of messed up on the takedown and scratched the shit out of the side. Um, but I'm not ever going to really sell this handgun, so it doesn't really uh, affect me all that much. All right. Six hour. This one right here is a six hour P239 in stainless steel. Has an eight round magazine. Um, the SIG grips has a decocker. Um, it's a thin gun, it's a single stack. Alright. Single stack. So you see there. I like these SIG sights. I really do like these sights. I wish other gun companies would put sights on it like this. It's a nice light handgun. Has a really good trigger. And uh, I safety checked all these. Except for that one right there. Glock 19. That's loaded. Okay. All the other ones. I safety checked before the before the uh, video. So don't panic. When I pull the trigger. Double action. Very long. And the uh, single action. Very short and crisp. I really like it. Easy takedown. Nice light weapon to conceal. Um, I think I picked this up for 500 and something dollars, I do believe. But these go for $900 brand new, so they're not super cheap, which is what I usually buy in a handgun. Um, last but not least, we're getting to the Mammoth. This is the Ruger SP-101, or <laughs> SP, <laughs> uh, GP-100. 357 Beast Beast Single double action. Uh, I like the yeah, There we go six round cylinder and uh, this is so well made you can put any kind of loading of 357 you want has nice adjustable target sights it's a, just a beast handgun. These grips, nice soft rubber with the wood inlay. It is a beast of a gun. And when you shoot the 357 full powerhouse loads, you don't feel it really much. It's not that big a deal. I love the stainless. This is a good woods gun. Uh, this is a good go-to-war gun. It's very reliable and it hits hard. I don't shoot it all that often because this is going to be an heirloom. This is an heirloom for me. This stays in... The, uh, my safe and I hope to one day pass it down to my sons but it's still good to have and you know what if I was going hiking out into the mountains this would be the gun I'd take get some buffalo board 357's woo but yep that's 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 my little meager uh, gun collection thanks for watching let me know what you think in the comment section below feel free to leave me a comment and thanks for watching. Like my granddad used to say, violence is the last resort of the thinking man. Only a fool would refuse to face the facts when it becomes an option for life. Y'all stay armed and safe and y'all keep on trekking.